Before this award, there was no comparable prize that anyone could get for doing AI that benefited society. I just, I took this job. I didn't know what it was. I just wanted to see machine learning in the real world. You know, I, I always wanted to do things that were, were helpful to people. Um, you know, that's why I went into applied math in the first place. You know, I, I thought these problems were beautiful, even if other people didn't think they were beautiful. I thought they were beautiful. I had wonderful students who thought these problems were beautiful. And now a number of them have been, you know, very successful uh, as academics. Um, I always like like logic puzzles. Um, when we get a new data set and we don't know what the special patterns are in the data set, I call it cracking a data set. It's like cracking a puzzle, you know? It's like the data set has some solution in it. There's some important pattern in there, some salient pattern that you have to find. And, um, you know, we don't know what it is when we first get the data set. So it's like, okay, let's go crack that data set. Let's go figure out what, what that important pattern is. I think the advice I would give to upcoming generations is to work on real problems. Because when you work on real problems, you get a completely different perspective on what's important than if you just work on you know, mathematical theory. And so I, I have all my students, essentially, as many as I can, working on at least some aspect of real problems. This award is like you know, the, the, the Nobel Prize for AI to help society, which makes it finally clear, without a doubt, that this topic, right, AI work for the benefit of society is actually important.